first day of August, 2023. About 4.20 in the afternoon, probably 90 degrees. Georgia Highway 211, we're headed west. We're right at I-85. We're gonna cross over. Go past Chateau Elan. Catch a bunch of that new development over there. Swing back, um, back across 85 up on at Georgia Highway 53. Catch some more of that development. Look and see if we can find access to uh, Mulberry River. If we can get down to the river and get an underwater drone in. Uh, but I don't know that we're going to be successful with that. This is Georgia Highway 124 that we're crossing. To the right, it takes you up in dead ends out around Jefferson. To the left, it takes you all the way down around Lithonia. Down past Lithonia, through Lithonia. Kind of smacky-packy over there. Come over here maybe early on a weekend morning and try to catch this construction maybe on a Sunday when they're not over here working. I'm not going to try to turn in Chateau Elan and then get back out because of the traffic. But Chateau Elan is right down here on the left. And as you can see, all of this new stuff. Making a new road there, I guess. Going, cutting that may be going to be a new ramp. I don't know. But they cut this hill down up here. Yeah, we just passed Chateau Elan. They cut this hill down over here. Yeah, Chateau Elan on the left. We just cut this hill down over here on the right, and they uh, getting the development. Let's see if we can turn out there and see what's going on out there. Village Developer Forestar DR Horton Well Side by side, we jam them in. We stack them tight end to end. <laughs> help me, help me. I think that's a pretty good start to a poem. subdivision
We're not gonna turn and go down this other cul-de-sac. It's packed with packed with folks. We'll just turn in and back out and let y'all see it. This is why small home builders and people that don't have regular subs or I don't have enough work to keep a regular, you know, a regular set of subs can't get hardly any help. We're not training local construction help anymore. They're all pushed into college. can't get any work done on a mechanic shop in a mechanic shop you can't get any work done in all these local little trades people are having trouble heating air conditioning companies electrical companies I haven't been able to find contractors for Vicky's the only good contractor I found up there is the electrician I thought I found a real good plumber but and he is a good plumber but he uh, is too busy can't get the work done you pay them everything you pay them out and you can't get them back other people they come out or they even don't even come out they, they say they'll come out and give you a bid and they don't do it if they come out and give you a bid they won't call you back I've been trying to get this engine swap done on my van I guess I'm going to make a video and part of this is not so much Jasper's engine's fault. But there again, you know, if I hadn't had trouble with this Jasper engine, if it hadn't been leaking oil, I wouldn't be into this other garbage of can't get any work done. The shops are busy. I can't, they, they can't, they can't get to it. This started about the end of February. A engine and transmission swap. And here it is August and it's still not resolved. One shop keeps can't find the leak, can't fix the leak, can't get to it when they do get it in, the downtime that's been on the van. But I'm hollering about it. This needs to be, a, I need to make a different video about all this. This is a construction, I guess, video. I get wound up, I guess. Get off topic. got the final cap on these roads I don't know why they did that I mean you've got cement trucks you've got drywall trucks you've got lumber trucks Then you've got a blue million contractors. I mean, for every one of these slabs, every one of these houses, you've got multiple lumber trucks, multiple concrete trucks, multiple drywall trucks. I mean, do they really expect these roads to hold up? Don't block me in, sales agent. I'm not a prospect. I wouldn't buy one of these slab homes if you were to discount it $250,000. I don't know that I'd live in it if you gave it to me. I'd rent it.
wonder how many entrances and exits there's going to be. Yeah, that's going to be going back out to 211. I mean, the traffic, the traffic is already horrendous here. It backs up for a couple of miles from the freeway. On, you get, <laughs> even if it's four lanes, it's still going to be too much traffic. What that driveway went down there to? Looks like a commercial building. Maybe it's a clubhouse. I don't know. Well, it looks like we've seen the extent of this one. Let's cut it off till we get back over on uh, 211. There's a couple more places we're going to explore. We may end this video and start another one. This one is uh, what, 10 minutes long. We'll see. We may add another one to it. We'll stop this one now.